right, so Donkey Kong. So we're going to talk about Donkey Kong today. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, so today, Emily, all right, so last time we talked, we played around with the mob stuff. Mm -hmm. And so this time we're going to play 52 card pickup. Well, okay. maybe not 52 card pickup. We're going to play 23 color swatch samples. Okay. All right, so it's kind of cool because here are the 23 color swatches. And you know what's kind of interesting is that all these color swatches that are out there, um, you know, people always call and they're like, are the colors represented online like what the screen shows? And you know, we, I always say, well, ours do, mm -hmm. but do you know why ours do? Well, it's because we took our own pictures of them. Okay, so you notice, like, feel this one right here. Feel that. You feel the texture on it? Yeah. So when you see the picture online, you'll actually see our color swatch, and it feels a little like there's a texture to it. Right. So all the From Mom products today have this kind of textured finish to it. Mm -hmm. You know why they do that? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that. That's why I asked you. It's to help with scratching. Oh, okay. Like this, when I noticed that years ago, um, they used to be super, super, super shiny, mm -hmm. and now they have a little bit different texture to it. And I noticed that they don't scratch as much as they used to. Now, if you're going to drag like a terracotta pot across the top of it, you're going to scratch yeah. it. But you know, if you're using it for dining or things like that, it really is going to work well. So I thought today what we would do, because when we did the video the other day, um, this gives us an easier, shorter, narrow view of matching colors swatches together. Mm -hmm. So if you remember last time that we talked as the guy about putting this color, and I'm going to move these out of the way, we were going to use that color and you had actually added this color, which mm -hmm. was kind of cool and fun. And then we talked about adding this color, which mm -hmm. was interesting. And then you even added the linen, right? Yeah. If I remember. Okay, so what do you think are, like maybe what we should do is organize our colors by like bright and then pale. Mm -hmm. And so like, you know, why don't we do that? Why don't you take the bright ones and I'll take the pale ones. And so okay. we'll play 23 color swatch pickup. So I'm gonna grab this okay. one and I'm gonna get the white. And I'm gonna grab this one, and I'm gonna grab this guy, and this one, and you're gonna get the colored one. I guess we'll leave him in the middle because he's kind of neutral, and that's the steel gray. And then we're gonna grab this little guy, which, man, you know, Savannah, well, when you put Savannah next to the, to russet or rust, that color, it really stands out, but over yeah. here, it doesn't as much. So I'm gonna put that one right here, and I'm gonna put, rust with it and their new licorice color, which is kind of cool. And I think I'm going to grab that one and I'm going to give you the cedar green. We'll put steel gray. Ooh, man. Those are kind of like steel gray. And who's this? That's storm gray. And then that car, so that's cobalt. Yeah. So, and then what do you think about these guys it's, over here. Well, when compared to this other orange, I feel like this one's more muted and this one's brighter. Yeah, so this one's super bright, so carrot yeah. is way brighter than paprika. Yeah. And then poppy is way brighter. And actually, you know, poppy even looks different than chili. This is one of their new colors yeah. here, which is kind of cool. Um, well, also, the poppy red doesn't have the texture. That right, we right. It is shinier, about. absolutely. So then we have what I call French blue. Mm -hmm. Which I love, that's my favorite color yeah, in the world, actually, like that because that's too. my favorite color. I'm going to put willow green closer to it. And then nutmeg and cotton. And then we have the linen. Mm -hmm. And then this is the anison green. Mm -hmm. So, like, what are good ones? You know, me and my, I like things organized. <laughs> um, what are good, like, if I wanted to put some not maybe more muted colors mm -hmm. with brighter colors like what's a good one like okay so since I love this color so much I mean I'm fascinated with mm -hmm. this color I want the color of our shutters to be like this on our house they're pretty close to it here at the store but mm -hmm. not exactly the same so with this French blue what's a good bright color that goes with it that you think um, I think the yellow could go with it yeah yeah I so see. lemon is a great looking color yeah. I agree 
even the verbena yeah looks good with it that is those are um you could even do the carrot yeah i think would look fine with it you could even throw white in there. Yeah, I love the white. Yeah. Or even the linen, I kind of like I know, I that's what like I was it. just going to say. That's what just because it say. adds just a touch of color if you really just don't want something very bright, but you don't want white. Absolutely. You know, interesting that you, that you say that. I'm going to put these over here for a second. I'm going to put that one there, but let's leave this, and let's get the green grass, mm -hmm. and hand me the aubergine, which is down there. All right? So this, you know... We have this store up in um, Pittsburgh, New York. <laughs> Utility, yeah, Pittsburgh, New York. It, it's it's crazy. But they did a Utility yogurt. Um, they did this color combination, which I thought was pretty cool. And I was even suggesting the other day that they could bring in colors. They could bring in um, lemon, and they even could bring in fuchsia mm -hmm. and these colors would go well together like yeah. if they wanted to have colors that were inside a little bit different than outside which I thought was really great and then recently um, actually we just shipped some other tables out the other day a customer originally out in California a restaurant got the nutmeg and they put it with the paprika which these two colors you know it's kind of in the same color scheme mm -hmm. but you know once they got them they were like, oh my God, it's not what we thought it was going to be. Well, what's kind of cool is that, you know, we have that super easy exchange program mm -hmm. where you never, if you don't like it, it's really simple. Obviously, we want to make people happy. But what was even better than that is we came up with a better color option for them. And we actually, I suggested using the russet mm -hmm. because what they were concerned of is that it was the, it's a restaurant that's only open at night. And these were tables outside, and they didn't want the tables to look, because they knew they were going to scratch them because people were going to use them. Mm -hmm. um, so that I thought that the darker russet color with the paprika was a great, they got the splash of color out of the chairs, but right. the table was more of, that wasn't really what stood out. And maybe when mm -hmm. they did their linens and things on the table, I thought that would be really neat. So those are kind of some cool colors, and we're going to go back into putting them in a little organized fashion here. <laughs> craziness. All right. So then if I was going to use steel gray, all right. So steel gray, you know what I think, and you can tell me if I'm nuts, but I actually Love think that, that yeah. turquoise is cool with it. And I actually the even pink, think I was looking at that. <laughs> the fuchsia goes with it well. Yeah. And it's funny. It's funny. But I think that's almost because you mm -hmm. and I talk about these colors all the time. That that's, that's why mm -hmm. I probably went to that is because we've talked about it. So this is a great way to have like a simple looking table. A lot of times, you know, there's a, there's a store, uh, a coffee shop that I just saw on Oak Street in mm -hmm. uptown New Orleans. And they have these steel tables outside. And I thought that if these guys wanted to add, if, they, if somebody already has a table and their chairs aren't that great, like this would be a great way to mix in for mom, right. even if they already have a table or vice versa. If they have, you know, chairs and they wanted a new table, I know there's a, a restaurant on, uh, do you know the Pelican Club downtown? Mm -hmm. What is that exchange? Is that exchange alley that it's on right I there? Think I think it's, so. ex I think it's exchange. Well, they were talking about the same thing. They wanted to do, if I'm not mistaken, they wanted to do the French blue and they already had chairs. So what I was explaining to them is that what makes this, and you and I touched on this the other day, is that Formab is so versatile that be between the fold-up tables and chairs, you also have the stacking chairs from Luxembourg, mm -hmm. and then the Costa chairs, which, you know, the Costa chairs are really cool. Those are the ones that have the durable um, non-rot mesh in them, which yeah. is really neat. And they're all aluminum, so it doesn't matter where they go. They could be, you know, in Southern California, at Seaside, you know, or on what's the beach that's close to, um, oh gosh, uh, Hilton Head. I was going to say South Carolina, but it's, <laughs> it, it is South Carolina, not that I say it. So all these colors are really great and simple and easy to use. And, you know, like this cedar green, here I go putting all the colors back where they kind of belong. So this is the cedar green mm -hmm. that, that we're seeing all over New York. 
All right. So we're seeing Cedar Green and Bryant Park. Also, I saw a picture the other day um, that Vermob actually sent out, and it was at Google's office. It was all Luxembourg chairs, and they were done in the Cedar Green, which was kind of cool. And so then, if you go across Times Square, you find Poppy, which is really, really, you know, that's a, a really bright color. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you take that summer vacation, and I know uh, there's, a, there's a family that's about to leave for the south of France that we were talking to the other day that he actually got the low Luxembourg armchair. Uh, he got it on a cotton white. And I told him, make sure he stops by Luxembourg Gardens in Paris, and they'll find the Willow Green Luxembourg tables and chairs. And also they have that cool little stool that you can put your feet up on. And I know when Beth and I go there, um, we always make a point to go there and she hangs out. And I'm not really sure what she does. <laughs> I used to think that she would read a book, but she's typically on her iPhone. So that's, that's, kind, of a cool, that's kind of a cool color too. And so here, of course, at Garden Gate, that's our favorite color, that's our favorite color, that's our favorite color, and that's our favorite color. Mm -hmm. So it will be the forge blue, which we like to call French blue, the cotton white, the nutmeg, and the linen. Now we have lots of customers that are in the French Quarter that actually do the linen, the nutmeg, and the white together. Mm -hmm. there, a lot of them are doing the table and the nutmeg, and they're matching their chairs. And now we just had that couple come in and they did, if I remember correctly, they did turquoise, and I was shocked when they did this. They did a turquoise Luxembourg table and they did the aubergine chairs with it, which I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I thought that they should have added that color too, yeah. which I thought would have been fun, would have been fun. So here's the other thing is that you know, you're in the store all the time. I know you were working with somebody um, just the other day on trying to match colors for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're an architect. Um, so we have you and then uh, we have Jesse, who's a landscape architect, and Sarah, that's a landscape architect. And I'm just a glorified, I I'm a catch-all. Is that what I am? <laughs> I'm a catch-all. A little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm a little bit of everything. And so we have several people here in the store that can help with colors and placement and what pots go great with these type of tables and colors. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's what makes it a little unique about the Garden Gate is that we have spent a lot of time working in this industry. And so us adding things like this to your home, garden, or business, is, it's almost second nature for us because we already do it. Right. Um, so, you know, if you're ever in New Orleans, and you ever come to the store, you're going to see the same people, same faces, and here's a great color combination by Fromam. Um, bistro furniture, you know, it's the French bistro furniture that comes out of France. Comes in 23 great colors. We're always here to help. If you have any questions, just give us a call.